What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another transfer daily video for you guys today. In this video we're going to be talking about Kai Havertz again, but this is actual updates. This is nothing going round in circles or anything like this. This is genuine developments. And when I say 24 to 48 hours, I think this is actually the most serious I've ever been on this. This one is actually moving, guys. There's actually been developments. So we're going to talk about that in this video. We're also going to talk about negotiation skills. There's going to be a lot that we're going to talk about. We're also going to go back to a year and talk about the Eden Hazard deal. Because apparently we're getting more money in that than we initially thought we were going to get as well. So we're going to have a chat about that. We're going to talk about Marina's ridiculous negotiation skills. We're also going to talk about AC Milan and Bakayoko and a bit of stalling on the deal. And we might chat about the third kit leak for a little bit. We already know what the kit's going to be. We already know our opinions on it. But we might talk about it anyway. Let's go straight into the Kai Havertz news. But before I do that, I just want to say if you guys haven't done so already, smash that like button, press that subscribe button and turn it red to blue just like Kai Havertz is. And press that bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We hit 10k weeks ago and we've been doing a madness ever since. We got all you guys who are pressing that subscribe button because it's just growing and growing and growing. Road to 20k is moving strong. So if you guys haven't done so already, smash that like and subscribe button. But let's go straight into the Kai Habit Susan. I did say I wasn't going to talk about this deal unless there was any serious progressions in this deal. Now there is. The first big announcement has come from Bayer Leverkusen themselves. And they said that Kai Havertz has left the German national team to head to Chelsea to complete his final medical checks. The Bayer Sporting Director has said, I've spoken to Olivier Bierhoff and Yogi Lowe about it over the last few days. And we appreciate the DFB for the special situation for the player and for us as a club. We are grateful for the national coach that Kai can now resolve matters in London with our support. Now Kai Abbots also didn't play in the 1-1 draw between Germany and Spain yesterday and the reason for this was reported by David Ornstein and he said it was to avoid injury before the transfer was completed. And it also seems that Kai Havert hasn't completed his medical as well, which is surprising and does also mean that Christian Falk was wrong and Fabrizio Romano was also wrong to an extent, which I'll be real surprising, but not too surprising because the reports of the last few weeks have been so contradictory. You've heard people say medicals have been completed and say that it hasn't, just like this one. You've heard people say the deal's been completed, then it hasn't. You've heard medical checks for ages and that hasn't happened. Questions about the transfer valuation. It's been going round and round in circles and circles for the last few weeks. You, honestly, I should low-key be questioning David Ornstein as well. It's only because David Ornstein also has a lot of potential in him. He's also got a lot of deals right. And he's also working with The Athletic, who have basically co correctly predicted every transfer that's happened this window. Also, everything that he's saying correlates with everything Bayern Munich saying. I mean, Bayern Leverkusen saying. And if it is literally the club that's reporting this, I don't think it'd be wrong to try and believe what David Ornstein's saying as well. So I kind of believe what he's saying. It lines up with what Leverkusen is saying. So it looks like this deal is finally going to be completed in the next 24 hours. Also looks to be like we got him on the cheap as well because he's saying that the deal is for 70 million euros plus add-ons, which lowers it down to about 62 million plus add-ons, which means Marina has done it again. We have got a generational talent on the cheap. All of his suitors have not been interested and they've asked him to wait for a year. But because of Frank Lampard's pulling power, Kai Havertz has decided, no, I don't want to wait a year. I want to leave Bayer Leverkusen now and I want to go to Chelsea Football Club. No one talked to me about this small club with no pulling power when we spent the entire season just taking the absolute mick out of the transfer window. This transfer ban was glorious. Everything was glorious. Even getting top four with a team that we had just to set the table for players like Werner and Ziyech and Havertz to come in and continue to progress this club. We are moving in a good light and after weeks of speculation about when this deal is going to happen, if it's going to happen, this deal looks to finally be on the cards. Bayern, Bayern Munich wanted him, Real Madrid wanted him, 
but they weren't going to get him unless he wanted to stay for another year and he didn't want that he wanted a move now and it's not a case where he's just happy to settle for Chelsea because if he was happy to settle for Chelsea he wouldn't be signing a five-year deal he wouldn't be coming to us in the first place he probably would be staying because he knows he has a spot at two of the biggest clubs in the world waiting for him but no he wants to come and help develop Chelsea and he wants he believes in Frank Lampard's project so guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below do you guys believe these rumors do you guys actually believe that David Ornstein's the one telling the truth at this point because I wouldn't be surprised if we get another left turn within the next few days. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But Kai Havertz does look to be on his way to London. Chelsea FT is already tracking flights as we speak. They've been doing it for the last week. But they've been doing it with so much more energy in the last hour. So we're going to keep this updated over the, last, over the next 24 hours. I do think this is actually it. Even though we've had so many false alarms and all of that. I do actually think this is it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. On to negotiating skills seeing as we're going to be talking about negotiation let's talk about the Eden Hazard deal Eden Hazard as we know isn't a Chelsea player it's sad Chelsea legend we know where he is can we move on he signed for Real Madrid last season for 130 million right wrong apparently he signed for 160 million euros and it's been reported recently that due to an alleged fraud case around Hazard's training compensation to former club 2Bs, it's revealed that Real Madrid actually spent 160 million euros on Hazard and these were meant to be paid in installments of 40 million in 2019, 56 million in 2020 and 64 million next year. 2Bs were also looking to be getting 800k of the deal with 200k last year. 280k in 2020 and 320k in 2021 that means that on top of everything with Kai Havertz and like I said getting a generational talent on the cheap with all of his suitors being pushed out of the window and him being gradually gradually more interested in the Frank Lampard project we were also able to sell Eden Hazard for 160 million on a one-year contract one year left on this deal and we didn't even get 130 million, we got 160. Um, how much profit is that? That's at least 120 million profit on the transfer. Um, we'll talk about Frank Lampard's pulling power, but seriously, Marina needs a statue outside the shed end. The amount of work that she's done. We 17, 18, there was a huge falling out because that window was just a madness in all the wrong words. This one, though, we... Everything's being righted. All the wrongs are being righted. Every transfer going out is getting profit in. We've got profit in on Alvaro Morata. We'll talk about Bakayoko later. I'm coming on to that later as well. But we've been getting profit off a lot of our bummy transfers. And Marina is just sitting here righting all the wrongs. And even in the case of players like Eden Hazard, one year left on his deal and we've pulled 160 million out of him. If anything, Real Madrid are more muggy for it. And it might just be a Madrid thing because we got profit out of Alvaro Morata and we also got 60 million for Diego Costa as well. But, bruv, we are, we are definitely playing career mode at this point. You, you can't be taking the mick out of too many clubs. I just wanted to put this point out there because I just heard it and I thought it was hilarious. As So, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about this one as well. Final piece of news for today. We're going to be talking about AC Milan and Bakayoko. Now, we know the case surrounding both clubs. AC Milan are interested in re-signing Bakayoko. Bakayoko also does want to go to AC Milan as well. He The fans really adored him in the two years there and it was really good for his confidence he built up a lot of form that he had just completely dropped off a cliff at Chelsea and he wants to go back there and recapture some of that form and I don't blame him I've got nothing against the deal you know me I'll just want to get him out the door get the wages out the door and everything Paolo Maldini's also vetoed the transfer as well he said he wants to transfer too the only thing that was stalling on is transfer valuation. AC Milan do not want to pay up front and they would rather pay with a loan with an option to buy. I don't even mind hearing that. I just prefer to hear the word obligation to buy instead of option to buy because option to buy just means you can say no on a one year deal and try and hope you can run that one out and then come join you guys or it means you can just say no nah, I don't want to pay 30 million for him he's got one year left on his contract I want to pay 5 million instead or 10 million and I know we're, we're probably going to get a loss for Bakayoko his form is still that bad for us that I still expect that but 
I don't want 5 million or 10 million or something, but we can sell him for about 20, 25 at a lowest. We could sell him for that sort of fee. So I'd like to see us try and make this an obligation to buy, even if it means we have to lower our valuation of him a little bit more. That is fine. Please just get him off the wage bill. Final bit of news, third kit leak has come out. It's is the the damn red kit that we thought we were gonna see and we were hoping that we wouldn't see. But yeah, it just is what it is. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about that. I actually thought I was going to go on for that for, for a little bit more. But I just realised, guys, we know this kit. We've seen this bit leaked since about February. What, do you want me to tell you what the kit looks like or anything or my thoughts about it? My thoughts are exactly the same as yours. I think it's a dead kit. So do you guys as well. Let me know how dead you guys think it's, it is in the comment section below. But yeah. That is the end of this transfer video, video for you guys today. Kai Havertz does look to be announced within the next 24 hours. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care and up the trails.